My beautiful collective gang, what to do you guys? It's your girl, Empress777 here today with a general message for my beautiful collective for absolutely any zodiac sign. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I most certainly am. Okay, they already came through and let us know what's going on. Okay, I get it. I have a very clear vision of what is happening here. Okay. Somebody underestimated your growth, your value. Uh, the things that you were asking for, the things that you would have deemed necessary in order for a connection to come together, to stay together, longevity, um, a commitment, all of the things. I feel like you were asking this person for that or you were expecting that, right? Um, you definitely have a high expectation for yourself and you hold that expectation for others. And it's kind of showing up here that this person was making it seem as though you were not enough for what you were asking for. I feel like you're, they're eating their words is what I'm hearing, or they're eating their thoughts, they're eating their actions, they're definitely being left to kick them, kick their own selves in the ass. Before we dig into all of that though, okay, before we dig into all of this sulking, <laughs> I do feel somebody is sulking. You've leveled up, you are in um, a time of e evolution is what they're saying, okay? A extreme amount of evolution. This looks like, you know, being at one job one day and then getting a amazing opportunity to be at a different job. It does feel like this has something to do with monetary gains because I see like all of the dollars kind of falling around the figure in this card. So there's like some kind of windfall, some kind of money, some kind of opportunity that you're coming into. It could be a skill set that you have. OK, that's going to take off a job, a business, something. This person didn't believe in you. They didn't believe right in the things that you said or that you told them that you would accomplish. Um, there is something about somebody kicking themselves. Right. I feel like it could have taken you a long time to reach certain goals. And for some of you, this goal may not have actualized at this time. This could most certainly be something that's on its way in. OK, um, some kind of. Um, abundant breakthrough is what I'm feeling, you guys, right? This is that kind of energy that suggests that somebody was with you when you were just kind of working your way up. You could potentially be like finishing up school soon, right? Getting a degree, um, something that you had to do first, right? You're, you are tying up loose ends in a prerequisite, but it's going to be a big payout majorly, right? So not to make everything about money, but it does feel like this person has a very materialistic mindset or, or outlook. For some of you, oh, I do need to say that this is general, guys, right? So just take what resonates. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest for whoever it might be for and use your intuition to guide you towards the messages here for you today. Click the like button. Click the subscribe button. We got too much to get to. OK, um, I'm hearing a very specific storyline. This is for someone very particular. OK, also place your zodiac signs down below in the uh, description box. I love to read. I mean, not the description box, the comments. I love to read the comments, guys. I don't respond to all of them, but I read all of them. I get my life. So very particular storyline here, a very particular detail. It's, it's almost as if wherever this person met you, whatever job you were doing, that's the price tag that they put on you point blank in the period. So that's how they felt like they could treat you. They, this person sort of, they, it's, it's sort of like they look to see what a person has going on in their life. This is just in their romantic connections. They look to see when they meet a person, what kind of car they drive, how do they dress, where do they live, where do they work, like what kind of things they have acquired. Materialism, right? They are very materialistic. Even if they don't say it, this is like how they think. And it's sort of like a cash register, right? It's like in their mind, they're tallying up how much you're going to cost. How much, how much is it going to cost them to be able to pull you? How much are you going to cost out on a date? How much, how much can they make you pay for a date? Right? Um, how much can they get out of you? How can their life kind of elevate if they are to be with you? I do feel like this person kind of played limbo. They kept things very much so up in the air. For some of you, this could have been a friend, a friend, a friends with benefits, a situationship. I don't get commitment here. Um, yeah, this is somebody who definitely placed a lower value on you, you guys. It is not the truth. It's not true. And I am hearing it's not until there was a separation. You endured a lot in this connection. It's not until there's a separation, until there's a change in pace, a change in dynamic. OK, so either you disengage from this person entirely or you pull back very um, uh, 
abruptly you pull back a lot okay they don't have a whole lot of access to you they don't quite know what's going on in your life for some of you you are being led to kind of drop off of the internet disappear for a while go through a, a period or a phase of solitude it is during this time that your new beginning starts you just come back as a different person you come back elevated you come back um glow the fuck up bitch i'm also getting this idea that this person could not be around for your abundance there had to be a loss you ha yeah, look, a time of solitude. This is self-inflicted solitude, however, okay? Wow. I am also hearing to stay steadfast, to keep going. A breakthrough is coming. So for some of you, it may have been a long time that you've been working on something, working towards something, right? You're getting tired, you're getting weary because you haven't really seen a payout just yet. You might feel like you're paying out a lot, a lot of your time, a lot of your energies. For some of you, your money, right? Your fucking sleep, time with your children, time with your family. Like it's just taking up a lot of your bandwidth, but it's getting ready to pay out. It's getting ready to pay off. We have abundance here now twice with the green moon. So the first moon card out we had was cold moon. This person has a very cold outlook on love. They look at relationships in reference to how or what they can get from it. How can they grow, right? They are opportunist. So how can the relationship benefit them? Do you have perks? Okay. Can they, can they use you as a plug? Can you get them in the club? Right. Can you get them frequent flyer miles? Okay. Right. Is there any clout there? Any coinage that you're just willing to throw their way? Okay. Can they get some free vacations? Can they get can they, can they get a couple free meals got now? This is a very cold energy. This is why you you were needing to get into this period or um, this phase of silence. Okay, it's sort of like um, spirit is getting you alone. They're bringing you alone. So you may either have gone through this time or you're getting ready to. It's not something that you feel is bad. You don't feel lonely you don't feel like this is something that you're being forced to do this is self-inflicted solitude dark moon you're going to be listening to the divine and you're all of a sudden not going to be accepting a lot of invitations you may in fact not really go out that much you might not be around your family that much you may go on a fast from the phone right or go on a fast from going out to certain places you're spending a lot of time alone with yourself spirit will be giving you downloads during this time this is a glow up season for you it's sort of like you go away into hibernation and you come back as that bitch <laughs> right as that do you come back as that one they never saw this coming honey honey bunches of my oats it's gonna shock the shit out of somebody for for a lot of you it will be multiple people yeah i'm hearing an abundant amount of people right <laughs> so they're using that phrase a lot you will have an abundant amount of money an abundant amount of energy i'm hearing like a lot of free time so you may have this notion that you have to work your ass off that you have to you have to burn the midnight oil in order to have the level of funds that are getting ready to be funneled into your account. And that is not true. They need you to get they need you to be alone, though. <laughs> right. They're trying to show you something. You got you may lose a lot of uh, relationships, unfortunately, both romantic and platonic. Everybody can't go, guys. That's just the real, okay? That's not, me, that's not me trying to be mean. That's not me trying to say that you're better than anybody. You're not. In this thing called life, people are here for a season, guys, okay? And it does look like we're, you're in a space and time where you are going to be experiencing some major endings. But with endings come beginnings, and this beginning, okay? This transition, this new cycle, this change, it is a huge shift, OK, it does feel like you're leveling up. It, it may even seem like this is coming out of nowhere. For some of you, this could be a gift that you don't even recognize that you have. It could be something that you do for fun. It does seem like this is something to do with money, guys. I just have to be very honest about that because of this older energies um, coming back. Right. This is somebody who deemed you to be somebody who should just take whatever the fuck they give you, that you should take their breadcrumbs, that you should take their bullshit, that you should take the way that they talk to you, the way that they treat you, whatever it is that they were giving to you, which I don't deem to be very much that they were bringing to that relationship that you should have just accepted it because you work at such and such and such, okay? You're a clerk at such and such and such. You shouldn't be asking for this. You shouldn't be wanting this, right? You're this and this and that. You should be lucky that I want to date you. You need to take me to lavish places. Use your last on me, motherfucker. Like, use your last on our date. So somebody will be kicking themselves, guys. Um, that 
it's none of your business, right? It's none of your business. But they are wanting to make you aware that this is not something that's going away quietly. In fact, it is something that has to come back. Um, there are multiple connections that you have to readdress because for some of you, this energy can, can be in platonic relationships as well. How does that show up in a connection that has nothing to do with romance? Well, it could be a frenemy. Right. It could be a friend who you think is on your side, on your team, wants the best for you. But then as soon as something good happens for you, they're quiet. They don't root you on. They're not your cheerleader. They might actually do that, though. For some of you, they might be a friend of me. Right. They may smile in your face. And the second you walk away, they're talking shit to everybody else about how that's never going to happen for you. How you're not good enough for, you, for that. You don't make good enough grades to qualify for something like that. Nobody wants to buy that. Whatever that business is that you are creating, nobody wants that. It's too saturated. Why are you starting a YouTube channel? Everybody's on fucking YouTube. Are you a Mr. Me Too? These are, these are the type of people that will try to guilt trip you out of some shit that Spirit already told you to do. This is why they have to get the fuck out of Dodge. Their energy has to get away. It's too much commingling energy. It's too much noise. So you'll all of a sudden pull back. You won't even feel the need to be like, we're not friends anymore. I don't get that there's any betrayals going on. This is a natural progression out, a natural progression of falling away. Relationships that just kind of fall away. It's sort of that energy of we grew apart. We don't do the same thing anymore. Like we're not, we're not equally yoked anymore. We're not on the same level anymore. I'm not saying that I'm better than you, but I don't, I don't want to go to the club every day, right? Like I'm not fucking every bitch walking no more, right? Like I ain't trying to get a starting lineup. I'm not trying to be on that city girl shit. I'm different. And as these things start to fall away, it's going to be very important for you guys to not only be patient, but also you need to keep a positive mindset. Remain steadfast. OK, everything is happening for a reason. This is a major phase for you. And these people have to come back around because unfortunately for them, not for you, <laughs> unfortunately for them. A part of their karmic turn, because this is about change in, in phases for everybody, not just you. Now, I can see some of the details of the changes in which you will endure, not the other people. Your endurance of change has to do with abundance, but there is some loss in that, meaning you have to move away from people who are low vibrational, who are not vibrating on the same frequency as you, who doesn't, who don't want to see you win, who will try to, uh, who, who are envious of you, who want your life, but won't tell you. That shit has to be fallen away because it's not the right, um, it's not the right energy to cultivate this law of attraction, right? It's not the right frequency to bring in the things and call in the things that you have already been manifesting. You want to know why it's been such of a long wait? You want to know it's by, you want to know why it's been taking so long? It is because of the people that you're around. And that's just point blank and period. Okay? I love you. I love y'all to pieces. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but love over here. But I'm always keeping it up. Y'all could have been friends since childhood. Unfortunately, they can't come with you. Right. Because they don't really like that you're doing better than them. They don't really like that you're now making more money. They don't like that you got that promotion. They don't like that you have a new relationship. They don't like that shit. Does that mean that they don't genuinely love you or like, you No, that just means that their insecurities are triggered by your successes. And can we have people around like that? No, we mustn't, guys. We can't. So spirit is refusing to allow this abundance to come through until some things fall off. And to finish my last statement, unfortunately, The beginning or the catalyst of the changes of these people who you've had around the catalyst for their change right for them to look in the mirror is to see you they have to see it guys don't shy away from it don't dumb yourself down because why <laughs> because why don't dumb down what you have going on. Don't dumb down the amount of sales that you make in a day. Somebody is selling out in a night. You put something out on a, you, you do a pre-sale and that shit sells out. I see it. Mm hmm. For others of you, it's just you getting in solitude, you getting in solitude, becoming one with yourself. You are listening to the divine. They're going to, they're going to lead you down this path to a new beginning. This is something totally different. It doesn't look to be something that you are already currently doing. In fact, most of you can't even see it. It's dark. Okay. The only way you're going to be able to see it is by way of listening. You don't clearly see what's going on, but if you listen, they are leading you to this abundant path. You might be doing something completely different for monetary gains than you are doing now, just six months from now. It might be completely different what you do for a living. 
You might, be doing, you might be doing multiple things for a living, in fact, right? You may have multiple streams of income, okay? I'm, I'm hearing like passive motherfucking income. Hmm. So this seems to be, okay, so look, we have the full card at the bottom of the deck. I'm not gonna pull it, but they did bring my attention to it. You are being led to step into that Aries energy. We got any Aries in the house? Let them know how it goes, right? We can all embody the qualities of certain zodiac signs, right? And we all have our particular traits that are, um, that work well in certain situations, okay? We all have our pros and cons, every zodiac sign. The Aries, if we're talking about abundance, is a leader. The Fool card is about taking a leap of faith. In some zodiac, um, in some, in some zodiac, in some tarot decks, the Fool card is literally somebody diving off a motherfucking cliff. Is there a safety jacket on? Who knows? Uh, uh, is there a parachute jacket on? Who knows? They don't know. <laughs> if there is one on, will it work? Shit, they don't know. Fool card is about knowing what you manifested in diving off a motherfucking cliff, bitch. Driving down a dark road with no headlights, ho. It's having faith, okay? That fool card was not in the reverse. So it's not about foolish, risky behaviors. You know what you are manifesting. So when spirit is telling you to do something, it's really a no-brainer. But if you are around the wrong circle of people, they can instill fear in you, okay? They can instill second-guessing. Your spirit guides, second guessing your ancestors, second guessing God, second guessing the divine bitch. Like, yeah, that. You saw I just shuffled this, right? We have the magician showing up again, but it's crossing, right? So you manifesting the life that you want has a lot to do with the energy that you entertain. I feel like you've been going in and out about who can stay and who can go, who has to go. You may have taken some people back. This could be romantic, right? Or friendships reconciled with people who don't deserve it. You are a very kind person, a kind hearted person. You give a lot of grace. You understand that people are just human and nobody is saying that these people don't love you. They could love you and still not be okay within people who love you can hurt you. In fact, people who love you can hurt you the most. They're the only ones who have the ability to hurt you the most because they actually fucking know you. That could be family members, guys. Nobody is saying that you have to cut people off, but you do need to balance this shit out. You need to balance the energies out and you also need to be quiet about the changes that you're making. This looks like the scene that they're setting up is you, you, you are missing. You're MIA, solitude, gone. Nobody is seeing from you, hearing from you, kicking with you, skating with you, nothing. For an extended amount of time. And then you all of a sudden just pop up. <laughs> right? Big Daddy Pentacle. Big Mama. Ace of Pentacles is a very huge offer, especially in this positioning. It is, it is very secure income. Okay? It is the kind of stability and the kind of resources that can s grow. Cause you can make money, but can you grow that shit? That's wisdom. Ace of Pentacles, right? Um, so it's like they're trying to get you by yourself for sure. Um, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. This is somebody who didn't think very highly of you, you guys, okay? In fact, they may have talked crap about you behind your back a lot. We have the four of pentacles in the reverse. That, and, and the four of pentacles normally signifies being stingy. Stingy with your time, your resources, your money. So while you were giving to this person freely, they were not thinking highly of you. They weren't appreciative. This is not the type of person who you will do something for. Even if it's something that they ask you for, that will be that will say thank you or be grateful. Like genuinely grateful internally. No, they will be like, well, I didn't ask you to do it. You know, you're the fool for doing it. So you are being led to close up this treasure chest, bitch. It's a treasure chest. You see that? Close it up. Temporarily. For the time being. They are also noting that being alone will also allow you to hear yourself. 
you can hear yourself think. You will hear your, your, your genuine, authentic, higher self. And your higher self is going to point out to you the people that really wasn't about you, okay? The fakes, the frauds, the phonies. You might really start to look at certain relationships and situationships and dynamics very differently. I'm now hearing the phrase, to whom much is given, much is required. So this abundance showing up twice is not a joke, guys, right? Um, spirit, spirit is refusing to, to open that floodgate for you if you're still going to openly open the treasure box for other people. It's not meant for everybody. Everybody cannot go. And if you cannot discern and decipher who is genuinely there for you, who will be there for you, who will also give to you, who will reciprocate, whose feelings and emotions and intentions are genuine. If you can't see that, if you can't hear that, this is not coming. I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna call it a thing. I'm gonna call the thing a thing. It's not coming now. They say, girl, you don't get to say that. Okay, fine. I mean, now. They're like, girl, you always say what is for you will never miss you. And that is true, right? It's just um, a matter of timing. And this cold moon card showing up, which is about somebody getting tired of waiting, feeling like they've endured a lot of bullshit, feel like you keep running into users. You feel like you keep running into people who are trying to milk you for everything you have or whose intentions are not pure. You may feel like you are busting your ass and you're not getting anywhere. OK, and what they're saying is you're sick of waiting but you have all the control on the timing of this, okay? You are literally driving this fucking boat. You are. You're driving this, this vehicle. Got a little lost along the way. We all do. Got a little lost along the way because you shouldn't be dealing with or be in the vicinity of anybody who doesn't feel like you are enough, who doesn't feel like you are worthy of the things that you say that you want, the things that you are asking for, the kind of relationship that you want, the kind of income that you want, the kind of vacations that you want, the kind of love that you desire, right? The kind of job or position that you desire, where you see yourself. You don't need to be around anybody who doesn't feel like you deserve that. Why are they even here? <laughs> okay. And for some of you, this eight of swords is taking back toxic relationships, toxic friendships, toxic family relationships over and over and over. And spirit is thoroughly confused. Confusion. They are confusion. Like, why are they here again? <laughs> why are you holding on to this? This dead weight. And it is because you couldn't see, okay? So I'm not beating you down. I'm not dragging you. I'm not. I would never do that, right? Um, this figure is blindfolded. So this is about holding on to things, okay? That literally mean you no good. That literally will not elevate you, like, at all. It's dead weight. It has no... It holds no importance to your growth, your evolution, to where you're trying to go, the things that you want in life. It, it actually is counterproductive to that. And lastly, we have that fool again, but it's in the reverse this time, guys. Okay? So as you are healing, pay very close attention to the energies of the people when they come back around because your healing process is happening alone. The fact that they're trying to really set you up, the life that you are manifesting is really beautiful, you guys. Okay? I don't know if you still desire some of the things that you were sort of wanting when you were younger or just a few years back. Um, it does appear that your self-esteem may have taken a couple of hits and it is because of the energies that you entertained. That's going to change, okay? So they want you to be alone. They want to get you by yourself. They want you to spend time alone. They want you to um, learn yourself, know yourself on a deeper level, okay? There's a higher meaning to the things that you've been trying to manifest but the people that you've been around, they're not on the same wavelength, guys, right? Like they're not, they don't have the same goals. They're not trying to go to the same place. In fact, you may have had conversations about them, um, with them about your goals and 
they are fear they are fear mongered. So what they will do is project their fears onto other people. So anybody that is trying to do anything new, anything to excel, anything to do any to, to get outside of that box, to get outside of the box that society has created for you, to get out of the hood, to get out of, you know, a certain job, a certain sort of rat race, if you will, they will talk down. <laughs> right? make statements to suggest that that is not possible that that's stupid that is that is a that is a dumb idea why would you waste your time so they are wanting you to be careful right once you come out of your period of solitude you're going to start to see proof of this abundance showing up with the star card it can look like um a, a dream manifesting right before you something that you've been asking for something that you've been waiting for okay it will happen um, but it's gonna be your business because it won't stop start and stop there right it's like a domino effect spirit has so much more that they want to gift you with right um, yeah they're saying the beauty of this life is more beautiful than you could ever imagine you kind of gave them the blueprint of what you want with this magician card so they, they know what you desire and they're gonna Go ahead and put 20 out 10, right? They're going to amplify that times a billion. But there are tests along the way. And it does look like the tests are coming by way of people who don't have much to offer, but are asking for a lot. OK, testing your boundaries, people who are knocking you out of balance energetically. OK, we want to be more uh, more vigilant of the older energies coming back rather than the new people showing up. Because the new people showing up will already be on your uh, frequency level. Those are not people that you have to worry about. It really is those old people. But you also want to keep your good eye on the new people, too. So it's about balancing, okay? And the star card does suggest that you have healed, right? So you're transforming, guys. You're going to be a different person. Not only will you recognize it within yourself, really start looking back, right? Six months from now to where you will be six months from now, um, you're going to see these um, extreme differences in your lifestyle, who you are, how you are, how you think, what you make, you know, all of that. And others will see it as well. And there are a few in particular, guys. I just have to be very honest with that. Okay, It could be like um, uh, up to eight. <laughs> okay, up to eight people. And it will be from different positions in your life. This is romantic partnerships, okay? This could be the baby daddy, the baby mama, ex-husbands, ex-wives. This could be your, your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, best friends from childhood, that sort of thing. There's a group of them that have to see this glow up. They have to see it. They have to. Why? Because they doubted you. And spirit don't like that. You see what I'm saying? Them doubting you was them doubting the divine. OK, they need to know that miracles exist, bitch. And I am the living proof, right? Like they have to see it. Will they like seeing it? Totally different story. Like, no, absolutely not. No, no, they will not. And it's going to be your business to be able to identify that. Because if you give them a seat at your table, it could slow shit down. Don't say I didn't tell you now. Do not say I didn't tell you. Don't be foolish. All right, so if you have resonated with this message, we're going over to the extended, okay? Let's see, let's get into the nitty gritty, okay? Let's get some details in reference to what this abundance might be looking like. We'll look at some finances, okay? A financial message for sure. We'll also look to see um, how this all pans out. With this older energy, it could be up to two, up to eight. We'll look to see if you divulge in this, if you indulge yourself, I mean, in this, what would the outcome of that be? We'll also see what new love has to offer as well. We'll get you some advice on how you can set yourself up for success and be sure that you're not slowing shit the fuck down. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you the floor to ask a couple of questions in the Ask Universe reading, okay? So without further ado, click the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. I'm going to put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box. I'm going to see y'all over there. Let go.